Augie Nieto is one of the world's leading fitness pioneers. We're here tonight for August Quest. That the strength and courage that you're showing as you face the greatest challenge in your life, the battle with ALS, is an inspiration to all of us. Even if you've never been sick in your life, if nobody in your family has ever been sick, you know what, the obligation is within all of us to make a difference. I'm just really, really honored, quite honestly, to have been able to meet Augie tonight. ALS, we're coming for you. We're coming for you. We're this close, baby. We're this close to knocking you out. So please sit back, have a great time, enjoy yourself, reach for your wallet, and let's help Augie on his quest. Augie, tonight's for you. I'm going to beat this son of a bitch. Right now, we have $2,759,000. May 2nd, 1939, Luke Gehrig took himself out of the lineup. This is going to be National ALS Awareness Day. And what Jeff Moore and the Diamondbacks have done for us is we have Connor Jackson, the first baseman for the Diamondbacks, is our spokesperson here. Baseball is a, is a national pastime, and what Lou Gehrig represented being an Iron Man is his will to compete. I want to compete. I want to be a participant in life. So the irony of what has happened with me having ALS is I'm the guy who was supposed to make everybody fit. Now he's struggling to keep his muscles. He truly is fighting for his life. With uh, great pride, I consider myself one of Jerry's kids. You've revolutionized health and fitness industry, and what you're now doing for ALS, you're revolutionizing what our, we're doing in terms of research. Tell us in what ways. Well, I truly looked at this problem, and I said, um, I'm not going to accept the status quo. Two, three, grab it. Got it. Thank you, Augie. Please welcome Augie Nieto and his beautiful wife, Lynn. Eighteen months ago, I was on a boat thinking about life and had no idea about ALS. We have isolated genes that are unique to ALS. In only nine months, and at a cost of just $1.3 million, researchers at TGen could see the genetic differences they had in common and pinpoint the faulty genes. We think we've uncovered what causes ALS through this study. There may be drugs that target that set of genes already existing today, but being used for other diseases. So the hope would be that we could take one of those drugs and put it into use for ALS and that it would have some beneficial effects. If you've spent any time at a gym sweating on a life fitness cycle, you have this man to thank, 48-year-old Augie Nieto. In one of life's cruel ironies, Augie Nieto, a fitness pioneer, was diagnosed with ALS. In the 19 months since he was diagnosed, Augie has lost the use of his arms. His voice has deteriorated, but he's still as upbeat as ever. <laughs> How, Augie, are you able to stay so positive? Well, I think for me right now is the ability to wake up every morning and redefine normal. You can either 
celebrate what you can do or mourn what you can. Question is, how can we help? Tell us all what to do. First, by being here tonight. Second, by working with the local MBA. You know, Augie seized the moment. Uh, I think the MDA has been the leader, has had huge impacts, not just in ALS, but in all the diseases they've worked on. But there was a need for something new. And so what Augie did is he got the MDA to focus and think about the future more effectively. The time is right to invest the technology with the genome and with stem cells really gives ALS a true opportunity to find a cure.